<laughs> You'd think Bobby would have ability to email everybody, especially since he's doing all that browser hunting or whatever on Brendan Shaw. <laughs> since he's stalking Brendan on his own, uh, whatever. That whole debacle was, oh. that's one of the fun, it's almost like a sketch show. Was my, that was my like thing. I switched from like police interrogation videos to like following the <laughs> yeah. shop and Bobby Lee thing for a while. It's a, my YouTube algorithms just filled with Bobby Lee, Brendan Schaub, Kalila, like I know. weird. I'm, Cause I can't, I there's just, some, sometimes I'm on one thing and then sometimes I'm like, maybe they did do that. <laughs> like It like switches quickly. It's, I saw one clip where Kalila's like, yeah, I'm a lot better at the internet than people think. And I'll destroy someone. It's like from an episode years earlier. And like, I'm like, whoa. Just to let you know, <laughs> hey, if you want somebody found anyone on the internet, she's the one. Wait. You're a professional. I've seen you do that with Bog. I'm like, how the f did you find this person? No, I'm just. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I, you gave away my. F I'm an undercover sleuth. I am. Are you really? Right. Um, but only if I really want to know certain information. Like, if somebody has hurt Bobby, mm. I'll find ways. Ladies and gentlemen, comedian Tony Hinchcliffe just admitted that he is a connoisseur, a fan of the whole spectacle. He was on Theo Vaughn's podcast a few days ago, and interestingly enough, they talked about the whole Brendan Schaub and Kalila Kuhn drama. And they actually brought up and gave a huge shout out to the whole community of YouTube channels that are keeping up with all of this. But what I found more interesting was the fact that Tony actually questioned if Kalila maybe was behind everything. Also, if you notice, Theo Vaughn made it a point to bring up again the fact that Brendan Schaub doesn't even own a computer, but that he was actually showing him screen grabs or screenshots of some sort of evidence that Brendan Schaub thought that, you know, was legit. Now, the reason why I think this is important is because if you guys remember the whole situation, the whole drama with Bobby Lee, a lot of people did speculate that Brendan Schaub could have just lied about everything just to have an excuse to attack Kalila and Bobby Lee. However, based on what Theo Vaughn said and has said in other episodes, I'm starting to think that Brendan Schaub really did believe whatever evidence he had was legit and that somebody from Tiger Belly did have something to do with the fighter and the kid subreddit. Brendan doesn't own a computer, which is the funniest part of all of it, yeah, right? Yeah. Like he's like, dude, he's getting this research and he has like screen grabs on his phone. <laughs> Obviously, it's not like Brendan Schaub was himself, you know, doing the research and looking up things on his phone. It just sounds like his team sent him something, screenshots, pictures, and that is what he was showing Theo Vaughn. Because if you guys remember back when Bobby Lee did, did an episode with Theo Vaughn, he said this. You know, they were like, no, I, I, bully is the wrong word, but they were just really adamant about it and they had a lot of feelings behind it. Well, they believed it. I don't think they, they be I think these kind of maybe still do. I don't know. I, well, I don't think they was making it up. You think, I, they, you, you think they still believe it? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they still believe it. Brennan and I haven't really spoken about it much. Yeah, I try not to talk about it either. But I don't know. Okay, but going back to Tony, bringing up the drama real quick, I, I find it very interesting because I've actually said this in my videos, in my other videos, the fact that he admitted that he enjoys the chaos and um, everything that is going on with, you know, for example, Brennan Schaub and Bobby Lee, because I've said this before, but, you know, what people call just drama is actually great quality content i mean I'm sure i love making short documentary style videos but you can't deny that this is also really fun and entertaining this yeah. is all wild because people have made some serious breakdown videos of that stuff oh it's with layers and like there's like <clears throat> people making like vi like reviewing po like reviewing clips and things that have happened it's it's gotten pretty deep, man. Oh, yeah. Um, There's people reviewing those people's yeah. review shows and stealing their ideas and doing ripoffs of their shows. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like they're reviewing the review. Yeah, there's, like, a sports center for podcasts yep. almost now where yep. they're, like, looking at highlights and replaying things. Yeah. And, like, it's interesting, though. It's definitely fascinating to be a part of the uh, little universe. Mm -hmm. Um I do get his point, though, about not wanting to talk about the drama because he doesn't want his podcast or his show to just turn into a drama channel. And that's a fair point. Um, I do believe if, you know, since he's, he's a comic, um, leaning into the drama might be a lot because it, it is a lot. There is a lot going on and it quickly consumes your time if you're not careful with that. Me, on the other hand, I used to and still consume a lot of YouTube content, a lot of podcasts. So when the whole situation with Bobby Lee happened a few uh, months ago, 
it was natural for me to just make a video about it, talk about the situation. And when I started getting a couple hundred views, I was hooked. I mean, I was talking about things that I, that I was already enjoying. And then when I was about to hit a thousand subscribers, I noticed that there were a lot of other channels way bigger than mine that would also talk about, you know, the podcast scene and the comedy scene. I was shocked. My mind was blown because like I said, I used to consume a lot of YouTube content, a lot of comedy content, and, and I never came across these channels. So I just think it's a, it's a matter of time until this whole thing blows up even bigger, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. I'm excited, and I'm thankful for all of you guys that have subscribed, so I appreciate that. Now, here's what I think is going on behind the scenes, because there is a reason why Theo Vaughn is now comfortable just openly talking about Kalila. And that is because he is now closer to Bobby Lee, and I'm sure he knows, he feels that Bobby Lee is no longer, you know, attached and maybe obligated to protect her reputation since they are now no longer together. I feel like people don't care anymore. And if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a ton, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. Because think about it, Theo Vaughn is the one who brought it up, and then Tony added to the situation and you know what he thought about Kalila. now i say that to say this i really do think that Kalila kun is going through what brendan shop went through this whole year or you know at the beginning of the year uh with comics not holding back and just telling everybody or their public what they think about Kalila or brendan shop in that scenario well like, wait, 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 brendan Schaub, like did you what? ask annie to walk you to your truck yeah. walk you to your truck yeah, yeah. well honestly, it's that whole thing with bobby way. and all of that now that's like crazy, crazy. for the successful comedian yeah. whatever people think about it mm -hmm. i felt like he got a raw deal you know yeah. and that girl yeah. like the way she was like the way they were trying oh sorry we didn't mean to oh, no, you the reddit, you were making the reddit cook it up yeah. and honestly when we had him on we had like a talk with him about like i think that you have to since she is no longer with bobby lee they don't feel that pressure of having to show that you know uh, boundary or whatever you want to call that with kalila it's kind of similar to how when joe rogan left la everybody all the other comics started going out brandon shop's neck she also has a very small but growing subreddit that is completely dedicated to just trashing her. It is essentially a baby version of the fighter and the kid subreddit. Looking back now, it's funny that at some point of the Tiger Belly episode, Kalila actually told Brendan Schaub that she gets very similar hate to what he does. And oh boy, was she wrong. That's so far from the truth. And it's funny because looking at Brendan Schaub's uh, The Fighter and the Kid subreddit, at the beginning of the year, I believe it had like 18,000 members, which is still pretty big. Because keep in mind, the whole subreddit is just dedicated to on Brendan Schaub and watching his every move and just making fun of him. That subreddit went from under 20,000 members to over 90,000 members this year because of the entire drama that happened. It's insane. That puts it among the 5% of the largest subreddits out there. So in my opinion, I believe this will push Tony's fan base to start looking more into Kalila and eventually she will become the next Brendan Schaub. Here's the difference though, real quick. Brendan Schaub is hated and made fun of because he is he does a lot of dumb stuff. Let's just put it that way. But Kalila, on the other hand, is getting hate for doing some weird evil stuff i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say that in my opinion that's my opinion that is my opinion i don't condone anybody going to harass anybody i am pretty confident that everybody that watches these videos is smart enough to know that obviously but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh again if you made it this far leave, leave a like subscribe to the channel we will be uploading quality videos at least three times a week and uh that is all we have for today